change your pants. But uh, this is real life situations and uh, I'm not just trying to blow this out of proportion, but if this video ever gets recovered and say I pass away or something, um, I want this video to be published. Uh, just the last days of, of, uh, of me. And I might just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you think I'm exaggerating, but you never know what it's gonna happen in life and this might be the time. some ideas yeah I always say I have a lot of ideas I never said any was good Make a fire, as long as it's a fire. You, you damn, damn eagle, eagle scouts. scouts. <coughs> well, let me get up. I got. I tried to rig this up so it's even and <coughs> level, but it looks like it's not that level. It's level enough for me to do a video, I guess, right now. Woo! That'll wake you up if you're not woke. But I've been, I've been woke for about a few hours. I was waiting for daylight. Um, the sun just about to come up at six o'clock, <coughs> um, and I thought, I, "Hey, I can have a quick break, a quick cold breakfast when it's cold outside." Uh, so I'm uh, having my cheesecake that I made yesterday. I put uh, some uh, watermelon Kool Aid in there. I packaged that. So let me. I never done that before. So let me try it out and see. But I put uh, the cherries, the ocean spray cherries, and the ocean spray. Um, blueberries in there that actually tastes pretty good the, the crust seems pretty chewy not sure if it's it froze or what well It's not the crush. I just had a lot of of these uh, dehydrated cherries and blueberries, which don't do that. Yeah, it makes it real gummy. But that watermelon tastes good. If you want to do a cherry, if you like cherry uh, cheesecake or strawberry cheesecake, you probably want to use the whole pack of strawberry or the whole pack of cherry. It works out fine. My audio, and I apologize if you've been noticing yesterday or so, or yesterday, maybe even the day before. I just noticed it yesterday that the first five or ten seconds, the audio sucks. So that's another glitch in this phone when it's really cold outside. The first five seconds or so is uh, crappy. So... I apologize about that, but I'm just working with what I got. Oh yeah, it burns so good. Oh, it burns so good right down here. Oh. 
put my face in it. Uh, I watched a movie called um, Next Day Next Day Air, maybe. All in all, I gave it a seven out of ten wigwams. Seven out of ten. It was it was decent. I think tonight I'm gonna watch something called Pilot's Wife. So uh, we're gonna see how that works. The other movie that I didn't remember and I probably put it on the screen already, but Surrounded. Not nine out of ten wigwams. And if I already gave it a rating and it was about nine out of ten wigwams and I didn't lie. Um, if I if I said eight out of ten, my my bad. It's 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 about there. So I'm, right now, I'm gonna say nine out of ten wigwams for that. I get all these on uh, Amazon Prime, but in June, my Amazon Prime is no more. I had them for like I don't know for for a long time, 15, 20 years. And I cut my Amazon Prime off, and, I, and you're gonna think I'm petty if you don't already. But they're charging two dollars and ninety nine cents for you not to get commercials. But when I signed up, what? that was their advertising as we're they don't do commercials. So I called them. I said, hey, I spent twenty or thirty thousand dollars a year on Amazon. I buy everything from Amazon. Everything you see probably is from Amazon. Um Can you just take credit me, or like credit me, $2.99, just take it off? No, it's the app. We can't do nothing about that. So, so you can't credit me $2.99 a year? So it's the principle, folks. If everybody stands up for themselves, something might happen. Just like the farmers overseas. They're standing up for themselves uh, because they're not, they don't think they're being um, treated fairly. So... Just in, in like life, folks, if you get together and you stand up for yourself, it's not the little $2.99, but where's that going to go? Oh, it worked out now. We're making millions of dollars more. Let's just up it a dollar next year. Let's just up it another dollar. So you got to you gotta put your foot down, folks, so it's the principle. Um, again, I apologize about yesterday. I was so stressed out from that tornado thing, putting everything away, and then the next day trying to get everything out the snow and trying to get everything not messed up electronically, uh, and then building that wall for two hours, I was fatigued. I took I took two loads to the vehicle, so tomorrow or tonight I don't have to take two extra loads. So I'm trying to get some out of here because today's the last day. I'm gonna lounge around here. It's cold. I'm gonna sit around the fire and talk to you for a while. I might do some stuff here and there, but I'm not going to get the camera and have you follow me to go take the stuff and do 30 shots on the way to the path to go to the vehicle. Um, I'm going to talk to you around the fire a little bit. So, this is the time in these comments here to have your voice heard. All the comments, to get your voice heard. Um, try to be nice about it. Um, I know some people want to say, oh, I want to see more stealths. And... I'm not going to do a stealth when it's freezing cold like this or 110 degrees outside. I'm getting older, and I say the older you get in life, the more pampered you want to just live. You know, you just want to live more comfortable. And I do not want to be comfortable. Well, I don't want to be comfortable in a bush um, at 110 degrees or negative, negative 10 degrees. So, um that's why you don't see a lot of stealths right now. But in the future, in June, when it's a, 
100 degrees or so, I might try to go to Canada. I don't know where, so please, I don't know where. Um, so I'm just going to do some research about the temperatures. It was 65, 70 for the lows at night. Maybe I'll go there and do about five stealths. That'll be about a month, a little over a month worth of stealths that I do once a week. Uh, okay, I'm just bouncing around here because my head's think, trying to think about stuff that uh, I need to chat about. But I'm going to cook a stew in a minute since so it's really cold now. I'm going to start the stew now and just start using the firewood and start... Um, Start a fire and sit around the fire. So, um, guys, I'm going to eat some more of this cheesecake. And then um, I had to go to the facilities for a little bit. And that'll be that. So, talk to you in a little bit. I know the camera's still on. Okay? Just relaxing. This is what I do. You get up without falling. If I do, you're going to get that on tape. Okay, here we go again. Uh, this video is sponsored to you, yes, by Blake Hooten. He really enjoys the food. He gave quite a bit, so I'm giving back quite a bit with this meal here. This is the last meal that I'm cooking, the last supper. Uh, this is the bone broth, chicken bone broth. Uh, we have some beef stock. We have some pickled sweet and heat garlic um, by yours truly, moi. Uh, we have some purple onions, and we have some... Uh, yellow onion we have a uh, shredded carrot we have mushrooms we got some ah just some toasted onion garlic potato seasoning and some beef stew seasoning uh, we have cabbage we have a red bell pepper a green bell pepper we have some on the vine tomatoes we have some potatoes um, and now to all the meats we have some ground lamb uh, we have some Polska kielbasa. We have some Wagyu beef. We have some hickory smoked bacon. We have some stew meat. And we have some chicken thighs. I'm doing all that meat with all these vegetables, with all these seasonings. And last but not least, sorry I forgot you jalapenos. We got two jalapenos. So let's get to chopping all this up and uh, throwing it in the pot. Okay, what I'm going to do here is put everything in this bowl, um, the meat first, because I'm going to use the meat um, and all the grease to put all the vegetables in there and saute all the vegetables. So I'm going to start off with the Wagyu. Um, this will be broke down by hand. It'll be probably easier. I'll, I'll do that last so I'll get my hands all juicy from that, greasy. So uh, I did tell you tips about doing the bacon. The bacon is actually easier to cut if uh, if it's froze. And it's actually pretty pretty much froze right now. It's on the outside it's a little froze because it's been uh, out here in the environment in that cooler. And it got a little below, a little below last night. So... I'm going to chop these up, uh, not too fine, but not too uh, thick. I want them to, to have at least enough on the spoon so it don't fall right off. So maybe something like that.
They're going to be long, she said. Never. See how easy that cuts? It's not just because of the knife. This knife is really sharp. I think you guys know because I cut myself all the time. But that's my own, own fault. It's kind of like a, ch a chili because back in the days, cowboy chili was uh, no beans or nothing at all, but just meat. They threw all the meats together uh, that they had from the livestock, the goat, the cows, the, the chickens, uh, everything. So that's what that's what chili was. But you know what? Today, I'll tell you what, it's not chili unless you put beans in it. If you don't put beans in it, then it's not chili. I don't know what you call it. But it's not, it's not chili. Okay, I got the ground lamb in there. The stew meat's already cut up. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. A little froze. But uh, I'm going to leave it the way it is. And guys, tell me why stew meat is so expensive. I don't even know why. Get some sausage in there. Always, always need a little girthy sausage in your... In your stew. I'm just gonna do a. I'm just gonna do the regular chops like I do, but people that want to do it on the bias, they have to do it like, like this to make it look fancy. Like like that. You don't you don't have to do that, folks. You don't have to do that. See how easy that is to chop like this. Are you trying to be all fancy about it? Make your pupper. We got the chicken thighs. I'm going to cut those up too. I was going to save some of this, but you know what? It's the last day here, so let's just do it up. And maybe, who knows, maybe Jay might come and maybe he'll bring his wife and we'll have plenty of, uh, plenty of food. If I have plenty left over, I can eat this for breakfast tomorrow, but I'm leaving out uh around nine or ten in the morning so i'm gonna be not cooking anything and i could maybe warm this up on the fire or something i don't know if i'm gonna need room for no veggies I'll fit a couple in there now, I'm trying to fit everything in that big pot. I got a big witch pot, I call it. It's like a 10 quart cast iron Dutch oven. Cut the rest of this up and I'll clean the board off and then get back to you, okay? Always fart on your food. Put some stank on it. In your head, Boy Scouts. Cares how you make a fire, as long as it's a fire. Okay, I got my tripod directly over that fire, 
So time just to put the meat in the pot and stir it up while I chop the veggies. That, uh, that dessert's giving me gas. Bad gas. You ever heard somebody say, uh, oh, I got good gas. They all say, oh, I got bad gas. It's just gas, folks. It's like a, a high-speed chase. You, you rarely see a low-speed chase. I mean, I think I saw a couple that was really drunk. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I bottomed out. Bottomed out. That's what she said. I'm used to it. You just don't have to use it all. Got it in this bowl for the veggies, so when that fire gets to go in, I hear it sizzling. Go ahead and dump it in now. Try to freeze together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, stuff's already froze. Come back here. Try to get out of here. I'm not wag it. Wag you. It's spelled wag you. That's why I'm saying it. One more almost got away. Caught you. Okay, and the pot is not exactly over the fire, so what I do is just. There you go. Move a leg and you're right there. Put the lid on it for a minute. You know what? I'm gonna leave the lid off so I can hear it says so sizzling. I need to hear it sizzling. And I put this big rock over here so you can have a an area to sit down or put a, a plate down there. But them Eagle Scouts, look at this. Look how I did this. You're taking all day when you can help old ladies across the street. You're trying to take all day to start a fire. You know, don't take all that. You ain't got time for all that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. You got air holes in the side here so it does breathe good. You hear it? You hear it? It's trying to sizzle. It's whispering to me. Okay, let's go chop some veggies. I want to take the time out right now, um, before I chop all this up, uh, to scroll all your names on the screen that did help out on this Survival Season 6. I do really appreciate it. I uh, still apologize uh, that we did not get a lot of snow, but I did survive in some uh, two-degree weather, uh, four-degree weather, a couple nights. Uh, one day was like a balmy 75 degrees, so only in Wisconsin. If you know, you know. Uh, but uh, I do really appreciate you guys. Uh, the sun is coming out in full effect. It's going to be a blistering 42 degrees today. So I'm going to shed these layers. Uh, not all of them. I'm trying to keep subscribers. Um, so all you guys that are subscribed to the channel, I really do appreciate it. When I say guys, I mean gals and guys. Uh, it's just easier to say. But I've, uh, I do thank you guys. If you are uh, not liking the videos then I'm not sure what's wrong with you, but it's that time to hit that like button to help the, the channel out, you know. Uh, if you want to help the channel out even more, please share. 
and uh, Dragon Balls just said last night, I should say, on the other channel, I say, hey, share with your friends, family, even your boss. On this one, maybe I might keep, you know, I might start saying this now. So thank you very much, um, Dragon Balls, for even uh, mentioning this. But share with your friends, family, even your Eagle Scout. Yeah, that's kind of catchy. Yeah, all these veggies are kind of frozen too, so they're easier to cut. I'll chop all these up later. I ain't gonna waste them, I'm just gonna get the big part first. I got time for this. You see why I don't have uh, a lot of uh, lactose? Based my butt, lactose, loose, loose toast. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Um, these. Who cares? It's rustic. Go ahead and check the meat. I think I'm gonna need to lower that just a little bit, put some more logs in there. It's starting to heat up. Cast iron takes a little while, but once it gets hot, you get that oven hot. Oh yeah. The foreplay going and you're good. Set it.
Okay, cut it like this because this is the hardest part and I like to uh, eat these like apples. I'm going to shred these up. I'm going to put this in probably very last, about the last uh, 10 minutes or so of cooking. I'm going to tell you in a minute why that I am using a purple and a yellow onion. Very, very important. When I break out the yellow onion, I will, uh, I will tell you. Because it will be more, uh, more clear. All right, here is the reason why I'm using a yellow and a purple onion. Okay, kind of like an opaque, it's not, it's off white, it's antique white, it's not even yellow. Like, but, get this off and I can show you. Okay, I'm using the purple and the antique white because I want to. That's all I need to say. Nothing else to say, folks. Okay, last but not least, put a couple jalapenos in there. I'm not a fan of hot or anything. I like a little bit of spice. I like to taste my food. So if you don't want, if you want the taste of jalapenos but not the hotness, you take the seeds and the vein out. And you don't hold it in your hand while you're cutting it because you can cut your fingers off. But that vein right there, you get a spoon and you can just spoon it out like that. And it's kind of like a bell pepper. It's not even that hot anymore. Depends how hot the pepper is though, because it could still be hot. People that just want really, 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 really hot food uh, and can't even taste the food. It's just a testosterone thing, it's a manly, mostly a manly thing. Can't even taste the food. I'd rather serve you a lump of crap that's gonna make it that hot than serve you something that's a really good cut of meat or something and put hot shit on it. Okay. All I'm gonna do is sit here and stir that for a while. You know what that looks like. And when I dump this in there, I'll put that in there, dump it. Uh, then I'll add my seasonings. I'm going to add all three of these seasonings. Then I'm going to add the uh, bone broth, the chicken, and the beef. And then at the very end, I'm adding this. So I'll show you some of that. But for right now, just got to sit and let that get busy. Yeah, I hear the love juice in there.
Okay, let the party begin. It's almost above freezing out here, so it's getting to be a little bit better, but the fire's definitely welcoming. And with all that meat, you definitely want some cumin happening. Oh, yeah. I like to put, put a lot of cumin on my meat. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. That that one's not a fart. Oh God, I was gonna do one, but I think that's gonna come out. So as soon as I do this and put the liquid in there, I'm gonna have to take care of some other liquid. Booty juice. Sorry, folks. That's what the channel's all about. Real life situations, everybody does it. They just don't talk about it. Okay. That the all just toasted onion and garlic potatoes and beef stew. Spank it, get it down to the bottom. Okay, cut that part out. Okay, folks, you see what I did here? I'm ju I just, I usually cut the camera off, but uh, I'm just showing you, I do take it right back out, folks, so don't do what I do. The stickers I'll leave in, because they're good, but get back in the pan. I'm gonna stir all this up, get it all nice and ready to go. Let it cook just about five minutes because that's about all I can take before I have to use the restroom. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna put the juice in there and then head on to the Jimmy on the spot. Oh yeah, this is looking lovely, guys. If you wanna put noodles in here after the fact, once you get all of it done, like put the, after you get the juice in there, if you wanna put noodles in there in your own bowl, uh, and let it sit for three minutes like the Raymond noodle packs. I think that'll be good too. But I'm, I'm just gonna put crackers in here and maybe some French onions on top, some of the oyster crackers. And then uh, put my sweet, sweet meat garlic cloves in here in a minute. And the juice is so good, you want to put some of that juice in there too. Yes, that's how much I put in, guys. That's how much good it is. I'm going to eat one just for test it out. Let's just put this in there and then the water. Once you add water, it dilutes the flavor. So you make sure that you pack full of flavor first. This beef is a little froze still. Yeah, I slept out here last night. It's survival season. Look at this beef.
It's slushy. The beef ice cream, ice slushy. Probably 7 Eleven don't have those yet. I don't think I'm adding too much water. Can't find my handle to this. There's a special handle on here just in case this is hot with the hook on it and the spring uh, that I can use. And I don't know where it's at, but uh, I mean, it's not hot right now. But I just stirred this around a little bit ago. I don't think I'm going to add hardly any fluid at all to this. Uh, let me just pick it up because all the steam, but. Yeah, I already got fluid in there from the uh, chicken bone broth and the uh, beef broth. So I think uh, we should be good. Just needs to cook down a little bit right there. Uh, but this is going to cook down for another about another hour real slow slow and low that is the tempo slow and low that is the tempo and uh i'm gonna add my cabbage so uh again i'm not adding the cabbage to about five minutes uh i had the water over here kind of heating up by the fire because it was froze but i i don't think i'm adding any of that so okay well i'll be back with you once before i add the cabbage and then we will uh sit here and slobber until we can eat it's hey, time to put the cabbage in oh yeah look at that love juice plenty of juice in there so I'm glad I didn't add any water. If you added water and you had to take some out, you're taking away the flavor when you're taking some of the water out once it touches everything. Uh, I'm going to put this in, let it reduce a little bit, stir it around one more time, and uh, we'll be done here in about 10 minutes. Starting hurry the fuck up for 10 minutes. Okay, all done. I'm take it off the heat, let it sit in there for about 10 more minutes, just let it stew. See what I did there? Time to plate it up and eat, folks. We shared a little bit of everything. A little more of everything. Okay. I had to move the, had to move the table, cause it's a little wobbly, but uh, 
I moved it from over there because all the muck, but it's a lot drier over here. I just didn't bother to, to level it out right now. I'll try to level up before I leave so the next people that do come have a level table and don't flip over. Uh, but I will put a picture of this right in right now. Uh, looks very, very delicious. Um, I've, uh, I'm glad that I put a lot of that meat, just shoved that meat in this, uh, this stew. And I used some um, oyster crackers, and I did put some little bit of uh, French onions on top. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully it uh, makes a little bit of crunch to it. Try to broth. It's not too greasy because I did take it out. I did take the grease out, most of it. But it's uh, it's delicious. Make sure my potatoes. Oh, it's al dente. I do not like really hard potatoes or really soft like mashed potatoes. If you can, whoops, if you can do that, I mean, it's done. You don't want it too smushy. And on my, um, on my cabbage, I like the cabbage. Just a little bit of crunch to it. So I did 10 minutes, and I think I did it for five minutes after that. Let it sit for a little bit. But uh, if you want to cook it down 20, 30 minutes for your cabbage, just uh, cook it the way you like it. Um, I'm going to have some Diet Coke here. Some, it's not diet. It's zero, zero calorie, zero sugar. It might be, might be calories in here. Oh, no. Zero calories. This must cause cancer. How do you get something with zero calories? Huh? Okay, let's, let's not go there. Okay. Thirsty. Oh, wow. There's some ice crystals that just formed in there from being cold. Ah. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper to this and uh, talk to you a little bit more. I'll probably talk to you a little bit more about a fire tonight to wrap it up because tomorrow I'll probably just say goodbye. I'll, sh I'll sh you know, say goodbye and then pack the tent up and then say bye when I'm leaving. But there's not going to be really a video tomorrow. This is going to be the last pretty much of it, 95% uh, 90, of it. Uh, it's going to be today is the last video and I'll, I'll put, well, it's going to be the last video, but I'll put the, the Friday tomorrow, the leaving at the end of this video. I don't know how you make your stews, guys. You need to make it like this. And I'm pretty sure... However you make it, it's going to be good, but uh, what I did, just to throw all that meat and veggies in there like that, it's 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 beyond good. Probably that Wagyu, -yu. Wagyu, -yi. it's hard to say that word, but Wagyu, I don't know how they spell it like that. Oh, and the spelling of Hey in up there, hey Ian, hey Ian. I apologize um, to Jay and his wife because that's I think that's he said it's his grand one for granddaughter's name, and it's Hain, like H A N E, but it's H A E N. It's Hain. So I know I, I say stuff, I poke at people just to mess with people about sayings and stuff, uh, but I, um, it's Hain, okay? Um, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, disrespect them. He named the um, the creek after his grandfather, I think he said. was His grandfather's name was uh, Garth, and then he said brook, like a brook, like a meadow, uh, flowing creek. I enjoyed it out here. It's, it's just, it's not as peaceful to do videos and always have to have a, like a schedule of make, doing videos and such, but it's way more peaceful than being back at the, back at wherever I'm residing at around the United States, because mostly I'm just editing all the time. 
the one relaxing thing about it is that I get to relax a whole lot because I can sit there and um, edit the videos and not worry about making uh, videos, you know, shooting videos. So I got videos on the other channel all the way to like middle of April. Um, then when I get back, I can just do a couple speed challenges here and there. So I want to make them to the end of probably the middle of May because when we go uh, Notorious B.O.B. and myself, uh, Notorious B.O.B. Uh, we are going to London April. Uh, I'll be there April 18th through April 28th through April 29th. And uh, I want videos scheduled till at least the middle of May on both channels. This right here, this one, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of March or something like that. My birthday is March the 30th. Um, and I have I have one every year, uh, but I I'll, I'll be 48 years old if I'm not 48 years old already when this video comes out and probably not. But if you saw some videos on Thursdays, uh, they're going to be throwback Thursdays. So that means just old videos that you probably haven't saw before that I took from the other channel um, and edited for this channel. But it's got to do with camping, okay, outdoors. Um, so my ex, uh, my ex landlord, uh, she uh, she's in the video. That's the first time she's ever been camping. Uh, so I took my landlord camping for three days, um, and she's not my landlord anymore. Um, I've I moved out. So uh, just and I put it on the screen three or four times during the video that were that's a, it's a throwback video. It's just an old video that I think I did put we're together. In, we're not together anymore like we're not a uh, landlord tenant uh, anymore uh, but I'm not looking because um, for Valentine's Day I bought me an SUV because um, I, I can afford it because I'm single and oh you're single I'm like I still need to make payments so I still need to stay single so I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna make good on that for like forever uh, but I do thank you guys for watching this video Cheers to all of you for putting up with me and sticking around. And I'm really glad that you like the humor of the channel and the trolls that are still watching. Get a life. Like, why are you watching somebody you don't like? And you you know everything about me. Because there's, there's comments that you have to watch these videos to know something about me. And to sit there on the other side of the screen and you don't like me, but you still watch me? Who's winning? Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay but other than that guys i'm gonna eat the rest of this and i'll talk to you in a little bit i'm um, gonna get some stuff packed away and, and over to the suv um every time i need to use the restroom because all that uh the rest of that uh no baked cheesecake so when i have to go that way i'll just bring a load of uh poop yeah, a load of stuff to put in the suv too and uh then um Probably sit by the fire tonight, and I have three cocos to uh, review with you. It's not really a review; I just found them. There's three of them. I don't know where they're at. I think by the fire. Okay, let me eat this. Got to keep my figure. Spotter information statement: Spotter activation will not be needed. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for the near shore waters from Sheboygan, Wisconsin to Windsor Harbor, Illinois. For today and tonight, small craft conditions. I think we're in Sheboygan. Look up um Cricket Ranch. I want to get Cascade. Cascade, Wisconsin. See if that's in Sheboygan. And every time I say Sheboygan, it's, it makes me this makes me think of that one guy, that character that's really creepy. Uh, perverted character but Sheboygan it just sounds funny to me I'm sorry people from Sheboygan it just when you say Sheboygan it just sounds sounds funny Making really good time. I have a lot of stuff packed up. That other extra tent for the food. Um, I have the cooler getting dried out there. Uh, 
I got a smaller cooler there with the food in it that I have left over. And the rest of the food that I'm going to eat the rest of the time I'm here. So I'm good on firewood. Uh, still have the tent up and the stuff in the tent that I sleep with tonight. But as soon as I get up in the morning, I'm getting out of here before 9. Um, because I'm going to show you in a little bit of the pathway. Um, after a certain time, the, the ground softens up and it's a muddy mess trying to get back there. But it's uh, it's pretty good till about 9, 10 in the morning um, since the ground is kind of kind of hard from freezing up so uh i'm gonna go out and find some wildlife guys i'm doing pretty good i'm doing i, I relaxed for a little bit uh went live for the facebook uh wigwam slash garbage gang so i had a good chat with them showed them what i ate and everything so they already know they got the insider of what's going on around here uh so if you want to try that out check facebook um the link in the description of Facebook subscriber and it's only $2.99 a month. Facebook gets a whole dollar of it so I get $1.99 a month but I bring at least eight uh, lives a month and if I do something like this usually two a day um, so you'll get probably 16 this month uh, maybe even more so okay well that's the spill. I'm about to get out of here and try to find some kind of wildlife around here. It is not the greatest time of the year uh, for that. Um, best time probably really early in the morning or um, right before sunset when you see the deer maybe. I uh, did see a rabbit and one deer. Just the ass of a big, maybe ass of a big rabbit. But it was a whitetail uh, something. Uh, it's a whitetail deer and I think um, whitetail rabbit. Pretty much about all right now. So. And let's put it in a white tail. Let me get up out of here. Do you hear that? Just a car every now and then going by from the road up there, but it is very peaceful, guys. I've been sitting here today since I didn't have to cook and do a lot of videoing and a lot of cooking. Had time just to relax, meditate. Definitely needed that. She said that. But uh, when I used to be in the uh, the drug rehab for the alcohol for 110 days, uh, I used to smoke cigarettes. Uh, I used to smoke three or four packs a day. But when I was uh, when I was smoking and I was in there at 5 a.m., they let you out to smoke a cigarette the first time at 5 a.m. So I was out there at 5 a.m on the little curb uh, in the front of the building. And uh, the highway was like a couple miles off, but you can hear it at five in the morning pretty good um, since there's a lot of, not a lot of uh, white noise other than that. And when I meditate, I chose the little cars as the little waves splashing against the shore. The big trucks was the big waves. Uh, so uh, I can meditate right here and if that's all I'm hearing is just the traffic noise, uh, that's just uh, what I do. So no matter, no matter what in life, folks, if you're in, in a traffic jam or something, try to relate it to something peaceful, um, and you will be in your quiet place uh, until they honk at you for going because you're sitting in one spot too damn long. But uh, no matter what, guys, like 95% of life is up here. Okay, ninety-five percent of life is what you make of it. So it can be you can be in the worst predicament, and if the only thing that you could think of, like, hey, somebody has it worse than me, probably. So let me stop um, whining. Um, that's what helps me out. So okay, well, let's go find some animals other than me. Here's the said muck I was talking about, but it's not, it's not bad at all. It just, uh, when you got weight in the wagon, it, uh, it just gets a little slippery, but, uh, it's not really that bad. I'm just a wuss. So I would rather just have it a hard ground because all this muscle that I have that's stacked up on top of these feet, uh, it gets to moving the earth, you know, it's earth shattering. So I, I, I know you don't know, 
But when you got muscle like this, you have to uh, watch out, especially when you're in wilderness by yourself. You know, you break an ankle, you're out here with a white-tailed deer and a, and a white-tailed rabbit. I heard something. All right, let's go find some. Some animals, folks. Pick your mind up off guard. Trying to pretend like the camera's not there. mean do that <laughs> like the cowboys do they just get down there and smack their face and they probably don't have baseball hat on well just uh just do a little uh bad acting here and there folks but this was not bad acting i would not just dump my hat in water but hey you get to see it um didn't see any animals right now except me um but there is a uh rustle of this creek that i really enjoy so i'm gonna sit here for a while let you uh listen to what i ponder why i'm uh listening to a babbling uh creek I would say babbling. That just sounds like. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Yes, this has uh, been a farty uh, camp. And I'm trying to let you guys not smell that. <laughs> uh, but yes, I think it's from the cheesecake. So I think in the comments you might want to let me know. Hey, we don't want to hear you farting all the time. Please stop eating milk uh, products um, while you're camping because I don't want to hear you farting. Or at least be an adult about it and cut that crap out. No pun intended. Okay. Let's uh, let's go just ponder some stuff uh, and listen to this creek. Oh, I can't get back up. I'm old. Ugh. If you felt that with me, with my knees, you're old. People say give it 110%. There's no effing way you can give over 100%. It's 100%. You know, just don't give it 90%. You cannot give over what you can give. That's what she said. Um, you know, I always hear people say you can't have your cake and eat it too. The hell I can. I can have my cake and then I can eat it too. I think what they're meaning is you can't still have your cake after you eat it. 
um, raining cats and dogs. Why is it cats and dogs raining? I mean, have you ever even saw big raindrops and said that raindrop just looked like my cat or my dog? You know, why not chickens and alligators or chickens and ducks or maybe just alligators and crocodiles since they're in wet environments? You know, that, hey man, it's raining bluegill and catfish outside. Why do they call it a pair of pants? People say because there's two legs. I mean, my arms, I got two of those and they don't call it a pair of shirts. This whole video, I've, I've had bad gas and everyone always says I have bad gas. I've never heard anybody say I have good gas. The best part of a cucumber tastes like the worst part of a watermelon. Drinking water with a minty mouth is the cold version of spicy. The only part of my reflection I can lick is my tongue. It has to suck to be an air conditioning repairman. You spend your day working in a building that has no air conditioning. When it's fixed and finally cool, you leave. You know, when I go to the airport, there's security everywhere. Like, like you can't even believe. Why? Why do you have security standing around everywhere, even the bathroom? But then when you get to baggage claim, hey, take whatever bag you want. Get that most expensive Gucci. Get that Prada over there. Just go. At special occasions, girls with curly hair straighten it, and girls with straight hair curl it. Kind of like when you're fishing. The person in the boat always throws toward the bank. The person at the bank always throws in the middle of the water. You know, if today was Wednesday, we just have to trust that somebody actually kept count when they started naming the days. Because it might have been Thursday, they might have screwed up and we're just saying the wrong day for the rest of our lives. At age 60, Snoop Doggy Dog will actually be 420 in dog years. You know, I bet you dragons would think it's cool if we created water in our mouths. The first person that actually inhaled helium from a balloon, I bet you they were so relieved when the effect wore off. When medication says do not operate heavy machinery, they're probably mainly referring to cars, but my mind always goes to a forklift. If Wookiees have 400 years lifespan, then Han Solo is basically like Chewbacca's third dog. If you drew a dick on a vampire's face while they were sleeping, they'd never find out about it. Water is a beverage whose flavor is its temperature. Hey, can I get some cold water? Can I get some hot water? May I have some room temperature water? This water tastes so good. It just doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes great. Is making a typo in an online internet argument the same equivalent as your voice cracking in a verbal argument? Corrupt cops? Are they just undercover criminals? If you drive a new car, you are rich. If you drive an old car, you are poor. But if you drive a super old car, you are super rich. There's probably a tree somewhere out there now that is growing the wood for your coffin. 
You know, when I make a lot of mistakes, I have to realize that my eraser is dying slowly. And the more mistakes I make, the less lifespan it has. If I had an identical twin that got plastic surgery, it would be hard not to feel a little insulted. You know, every time I'm sick, we got these internet doctors. They literally tell you to take all these drugs and stay out of school. You know, I do a lot of eating contests and, and challenges, but when we use tables to keep food off the floor, tablecloths to keep food off the table, placemats to keep food off the tablecloth, and plates to keep food off the placemats. People are germaphobes. That's all I found out about. Technically, if I want a discount on a mirror from a store, I would just go to the cashier and say, this is already used. It's a used condition. So can I get a discount? I'm not sure how to say this. So I'm just going to go out and say this. A successful marriage ends with watching the other person die. Wow. Yeah, I said it. Okay, I gotta go. I got things to do. Okay, let's get back to camp. About to start a fire, have some cocoa, and uh, probably call it a night early because I'm waking up bright and early and breaking down the rest of the camp. Go change your pants. Okay, I'm gonna show you in the daytime. We have some Arctic white cocoa from Land O Lakes. Looks like butter. Uh, we have some raspberry, raspberry. You have to say it just like that, raspberry. Nobody says raspberry, they say raspberry. Raspberry. And we have some caramel. It's fancy. Caramel. Okay, we're gonna try these three out and see how they go before I hit the bed. We'll let that fire die down a little bit and drop into the hole. And we'll slap that grate over there, get the water in here, and get to boiling. In theory, we'll be good to go. cold out here. Okay, last sunset. I'm gonna see over here at Cricket Ranch near Cascade, Wisconsin. Check them out on Hip Camp. The app will be in the descriptions.
Yeah, well, while I'm waiting for this uh, water to boil, I'm going to let you guys know. Rappel, this is the 40% DEET Sportsman um, or Sportswoman. It should be Sports Person. But uh, this right here didn't get bit one time this whole trip. One time. Look at this. There's some stuff in the red, um, a red container that I like even better. But I tried this one. This is Rappel Sports Person, Sports Person Max, 40% DEET. Uh, this is uh, really good. So if you see this in the store, you might want to pick it up because not one time, I'm not even lying to you folks, didn't get bit one time. Okay, it's hot enough to burn my mouth off, so we're good. Take it off the fire. Get my little countertop here. Okay, I put the light on. Hopefully, my whole body's in the picture. Um, I had to put it up a little closer for the light. Uh, but I have my water here. Uh, it says six ounces of water, so half a soda can full of water. I'm gonna. Uh, rinse it out with the cold water when I get done but let me um, pour this in there this is gonna be the let's go with an order what I said the Arctic Arc Arctic Arctic white Arctic people don't say that either they say Arctic Arctic white hey how about some Arctic raspberry yeah. Whew. Oh yeah, fumes get up your nose. Okay, here we go. That's all you need. Okay, swirl around. Go around the other way. Slice around. So it burns your hand and pops up. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the, not trying to be racist here, but the white Easter bunny, the French vanilla, I guess, um, that is in the um, store at Valentine's Day. Probably in the store all the time, but my mom used to get me the French vanilla one because I got to be different. I like it. Let's do the the prints. The kind you find at a secondhand store. So what is up with that? She wore the Does he like women that save money? Cause I'm thinking, you know, she wore a uh, raspberry barrette from a like a one you see at a secondhand store maybe she's like to save money huh or maybe it's a captain save uh you know who i'm talking about e40 sung it okay let's uh i want to shake it up with this but that did pretty good. Uh, I would shake it up with a stick, but you're going to be like, you know what? It tastes like dirt. You're going to say it's not good. Um, I would shake it up with that, but then it's going to get the flavor of this into the cup. Into the uh, nozzle thing like that. No, no, nope. Let me see. Still 
nope. Nope. That's a no-go. I mean, I like to save money with raspberry barrettes and stuff, but... Sorry, Prince. Or firm, formerly known as Prince. If you gotta say all that to say that, you might as well say Prince. Okay, the uh, pink, pinky up people. Caramel. I say caramel. Caramel, but it says it has an extra A in it, so I have to say caramel. Just like that. Okay. I don't know if I did the first or last on the other ones. I think I did this the same way. I'm thinking I'm gonna like this one maybe the best. Let's see. smells They're kind of artificial <sighs> almost it, it picked me up it had me almost climaxing and oh dropped me it come in second came in second That uh, that first one was good. I don't know the name of it. White something. Blanca. That's Mexican. I, I I don't speak Mexican. Okay. The uh, the winner is the Arctic White. Arctic. Arctic White. Hey guys, well, I'm going to answer comments and other crap, emails and promos. I think I got another uh, power bank to uh, to uh, review. I still got to review the Blue Eddy I brought out here. I was just testing it out before I do a video because I like to test things out uh, before, you know, you get hitched to it. So... It's, uh, you want to test drive it. So I'm, I'm not doing a video saying, oh, it works freaking amazing. No, I do a, a kind of extensive uh, review on it. You know, I, I try to try it out, try it on different things, charge it up, see if it still charges up good. And I, I take notes. Uh, and then I relay to my, uh, my uh, findings to you. Uh, but there's a new company that not even on the market yet. They said they have a only 8.5 pound 600 watt power bank solar panel thing if they could send me the solar panel with it that would be lovely because they keep sending me them without solar panels i'm like i'm an outdoors channel the, the sun is outdoors and I, I need that so we'll see if they send one so i'm still waiting for blue eddie to send me a solar panel because i'm not doing a review without it they can they can they can take it back Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for um, tuning in um, and seeing this review of this Land O Lakes uh, cocoa brought to you by fucking Eagle Scouts. <laughs> oh, if you're an Eagle Scout, I apologize. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, okay? So. Get your badge out of your butt. <laughs> I don't know why you put a badge in your butt. I'll tell you a story real quick. Not about my butt. I'll tell you a story real quick. I was in Boy Scouts for one week. If you guys didn't know why, I'm glad you asked. Because I sat there gluing popsicle sticks at a desk like a little table for a week. And I kept asking every day, when are we going camping? A week went by every day. When are we going camping? 
glowing popsicle sticks on a table. That was a glorified babysitter. We never went camping in that week, so I quit. That's, that's the end of the story, folks. What, what the hell are you just waiting on? <laughs> All right, good night. I'll talk to you later. See you in the morning. Okay guys, um, 9 a.m. About to get out of here, head toward to Waukegan, Illinois. I'm gonna be way early, but hopefully um uh, taste this one, Jason. Um, he stays in Chicago, he has a YouTube channel, uh, does food reviews. He said he's gonna be showing uh showing up maybe. So I said, we'll come about two hours early because I'm gonna be early at that one. Um, I'm probably gonna post up at a McDonald's. Usually I'll get on my computer and start doing some comments and business on the computer, but my computer broke. Sorry to get that fixed and uh, uh, when I get back, but everything's okay. I got a, another computer at the house I can use. Uh, this one that I use when I'm on trips and such, so I need to get that uh, fixed before I go to uh, London. So, okay, let's get to the, uh, the SUV, uh, get that thing uh, packed with the rest of this, this last haul, and uh, get going. Okay, time for the show to hit the road. Guys, I want to thank you for supporting the channel. I'm going to run the list one more time. So thank you for everyone that donated. Uh, I really appreciated it making this trip possible. So I will see you on the next one. I gotta get my camera. <laughs>